I'm going to pin my hair up like, kind of like this so I can see better what I'm doing when I'm working from the back. I'm going to take this loose. Once again, it's still soft, so you, you'll probably see some steam coming, but uh, not wet, just kind of soft. I'm going to comb it out some. The back of my hair, I've always had problems with the back of my hair. The texture in the back is not the same as the front. It's a little bit more kinkier in the back. I don't know if other people have that trouble, but I do, especially on this side. So um, I just wanted to kind of let you know that the back of my hair is harder to do than the front, front of my hair for some reason. I don't know why. Checking my comb. My comb seems well. What I'm doing is I'm rubbing it like this to test it, to test the heat of it. Everything looks okay. I'm going to start at my ends and work my way through. I got an extra piece right there. I'm just kind of picking any of the tangles out of it for right now. Just taking the detangling it and then I will start the process of trying to straighten it in just a second. I need to kind of move this up a little bit more out of the way. And once again this is the new ceramic high heat. I really love this comb. Uh, this one it is the ultimate comb. It has ceramic coating. It, you'll notice uh, it slides through the hair a lot easier than the brass. The brass is good, but um, this one slides through the hair a lot better. Um, and it doesn't get quite as hot as the uh, brass comb. So I do plan to have more of these made, but like I said, I wanted to, I needed to get my other order as soon as possible, but I wanted, I asked them if they could make some of these um, for customers that had requested these in a special order. Um, and I had some extra ones made so I can see what the market is like if a lot of people uh, are wanting the ceramic high heat. It is a wonderful comb. So. But if you want one on this, you know, soon, you might want to order now because it takes them a while. When my combs are manufactured in China and it, it takes them a while to produce stuff sometimes. They work at their own pace. So uh, all I can tell you is get them while you have the opportunity. Or any of the other combs. Now, if you don't have 4C hair, any of the combs uh, will do for your hair. Uh, but for people that have coarse or resistant hair, my hair is not coarse, it's just kinky. It's just resistant. In fact, my strands are very are pretty thin. Um, but I still need um, the high heat ones just to deal with. Um, the degree of uh, kinkiness that it has. Okay, I'm going back to the brass. I'm going to check it. The brass. Um, I'm going to start from the ends like I'm doing. Making sure to pick it out. You can see from the steam with the brass that it does get pretty hot. In fact, I had to cut it off for a little while to um, kind of let it cool off for just a minute or so.
but I like the brass when I'm wanting a really straight hairstyle. The brass is the one that I choose most. While on vacation, I um, did some swimming and I'm still trying to get my hair back to the way it was before the chlorine kind of made it really kind of brittle. Um, so I've been conditioning uh, and treating it with uh, some eggs, you know, egg whites. Um, and uh, just getting it back in, in oil treatments to get it back uh, to normal. It's almost there, but I tell you, I'm, I, I'm, I'm chemical free and I've been chemical free for almost three years now. But uh, I do love to swim and uh, coming in contact with chlorine, I can tell the, the difference, you know, from going for so long without having you know, without using any chemicals on my hair and then getting in a chlorinated pool, it, it you, you can tell the difference in your hair. So. But just using chemicals on my hair, I don't do that. Um, and I haven't used chemicals now for about two and a half years. Uh, going on three uh, and it makes a difference everything I use is all natural and organic uh, I'll be doing some videos on that later on as well okay so this is the brass comb that I just used to finish this side of my hair I'm now finishing up my hair. Getting it a little bit straighter than before. Once again, this is the brass. So now that I've demonstrated both combs, you can decide which ones that you like the best. Um, I like both combs depending on um, how I plan to wear my hair on that day. Um, if you go to the website, uh, sometimes I have specials on where you can get both combs at a discount um, or get it slightly cheaper than you will find it on Amazon or eBay uh, because their prices changes quite a bit. Um, so do check out the website straightfastcomb.com okay. all right I'm wrapping up so now that I've finished I'm gonna go through where my parts were making sure that I get all the kinks out there and now I'll cut my combs off. I'm through with them. And as you can see, my hair is straight. And at this point, I can either uh, style it with a flat iron, uh, a curling iron, or if I want it straighter and just you know, I can use a pressing comb, whatever I want to do with it at this point. Uh, I can just pin it back and put it in a ponytail. 
Uh, so I've demonstrated both high heat cones, the straight fast ceramic, uh, which is the newest, and the straight fast uh, brass, which came out last fall. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the presentation. Please check out my website, straightfastcone.com, and thank you, and God bless.